Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to interface multi-channel ADC on the STM32F103 controller. We will display the results on the virtual terminal by using the UART. For this, let's go to our STM32 cube IDE. Then the pin configuration, click on analog ADC1, then select the IN1, IN2, then go to the settings. Now here you have to select the continuous conversion mode to be enabled. Then set the number of conversions to 2, then go here. In rank 1, set channel 1 and sampling time to 39.5. In rank 2, set channel 2 and sampling time to 39.5. Once you done this, the scan conversion will be enabled. Now, come to GPIO. We have selected one GPIO pin to toggle the LED, to interface with the LED. So, PC13. Then come to UART Connectivity UART Select Asynchronous Mode Set Baud Rate as 9600 And click on Generate Code Till the code is generated, let's look into our circuitry So, for the simulation purpose, we are using STM32F103C6 controller one virtual terminal, two potentiometers, pot HG. Its value is set to be 10K to register in series with the voltage divider network. And we have connected it to PA1 and PA2. So have a look into the circuitry. Now let's go to our code. In the while one loop, first we will transmit ADC conversion on the UART. Then you have to start the ADC. First instruction will be pole for conversion. Because we are using the ADC in polling method. So we are not using interrupt or DMA method. We are using here a polling method. So we have to pole for the ADC. That is the instruction will be provided by the software to start the conversion. Once the conversion is completed, the ADC value can be read by using it HAL ADC gate value. So first channel will be read and its value will be stored into ADC valve 1. Similarly, we again have to pull for conversion. Then channel 2 ADC value will be stored in ADC value 2 register then you have to stop the ADC by using ADC stop command. After this, we will simply print the characters or we will simply print the results on UR terminal by using print char function. Now this function, we have written this function. As you can see, here we have written the function. So simple parameters is 32 bit value are passed as a function parameter then in num where we get first bit then we add 48 to it by modulus operation similarly it will do until the value num value equals to 0 and then we transmit the number on the serial port so it's a simple code you can get it and copy it from here once you do that, just build the code. Go to properties, then C build, C, C++ build, settings, build steps. In the post build steps, you copy this command. 
then click on apply and close then build once the project is built you can see here that the hex file is created multi channel adc interface dot hex file is created then go to your proteus software double click on the controller load the hex file into the controller and click on ok first we will send these values potentiometer values to the 50 percent so that we will get both channel values to be equal then we will click on run as you can see both channel values are equal now we will try to change the value of the potentiometer using the slider so we will keep it to 70 percent here you can see that channel 2 value is being set it's going increasing then we will reduce value to 30 percent and here you can see that value is being reduced so we will take the value to 0 0 0 and then we will take it to maximum so on maximum we get 4095 on minimum we get 00, 0. and to the 50 percent we get 2047 so the formula is very simple we have V reference of 3.3 volt we have 12 bit ADC so 3.3 divided by 4095 that much value we get for 1 milli one step so 3.3 divided by 4095 it is equals to 0.8 millivolts so if we multiply this 0.8 millivolts with half of 4095 that then we get 1.65 volt so if we check the voltage using the voltage probe so we will put voltage probe over here yes we get 1, 1.65 for, so for 1.65 we get 4047 value and if we increase it to full potential that is 3.3 volt then we get 4095 and if we decrease it to 0 then we get 0 0 so we keep it 1 so point for 0 0.03 we get 41 for 0 0.06 we get 82 so by 41 the values are increasing by 41 Now these values are dependent on what voltage we give to the ADC channel. So it's very basic example that we have taken. Thanks for watching video. If you have any queries you can post it to the in the comment section or you can directly mail us on stmmetatronics at the rate gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe.